Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here. This time we're reviewing on issue 2 of Beast Wars Transformers The Ascending. Now, as you know, this is going to be a sequel series to Beast Wars The Gathering. That's going to deal with the after effects of Beast Wars The Gathering. And the cover has Transmetal 2 Ravage tacking on Transmetal Rat Crap and Optimus and Rhinox when they're not looking. And it starts off with Unicron talking with his followers and them saying, We obey. And pretty much has them stationed to continue the corrupting the the sort of Transformers there. And has one of them, Rapto Rata, to go to Earth. And we see how the other Maximals and Predacons are still duking out in their own Beast Wars after the events of Issue 1. And we see Wolfang talking to Bone Crusher saying... As much as I hate to admit, Bone Crusher, he's right. The Protocons have a destructible edge in Arsenal terms. And we see how they're trying to duke it out, but they need Razor Beast to help to help deal with the problem as they won't last any longer. And we see Car the other Protocon saying, Huh, look at them! You had this coming a long time, Maximals. And I for one Intend to enjoy it to the full. And of course we see them having to try and duke it out. We see how Spittle ends up meeting Grimlock saying, Mmm, so much for our devourers. Me ready for main course. Grimlock, quick, before we can, too late. We see how they now get a winning edge and manage to take down what Predacons there are. And we see Wolf Fang meeting up with, I mean, Snarl meeting up with Razor Beast, who pretty much returns back to the battlefield after tying up Transmetal to Ravage. And after escaping, plans to re release Megatron and sort out the problems. And saying, Runs I'm in sync with the primary Beast Wars. I'll free Megatron, and then you and every Maximal on this planet will die screaming. And we see how Mega Magnetron shows up and points out that he's stuck in limbo and also needs his help to sort out the truce as there is a danger coming to Cybertron. We see the Maximal Council, which consists of Snow. Silverbolt, as well as Ironhide, who were part of the Transformers toys, pointing out the growing problems on Cybertron and worrying that a new Silver War will start. And they, they need the help of Big Convoy. Now, fun fact, Big Convoy is meant to be a version from Beast Wars Neo that was a sequel to Beast Wars 2. And them looking for answers, and as soon as they find the Ansolgothis, they end up finding that other Transformers have been corrupted in it. And one of them say, oh, I thought he'd seen the last of this stuff. So did we. All but it's back. Who knows how much of it has already in that. And we see them having to kind of sort out the problem, and we see how a character called called Shockwrecked, ends up devaluing more of the stuff, and see how it's being ship-hooned. And we kind of see how L L Leo Prime and the other Ma Maximals of his team end up going to prehistoric Earth to help Razor Beast in that. And fun fact, these characters were meant to be from the Beast Wars 2 series in much different character designs. And see Stampy saying, Huh, so some hops. Stampy, be still. Huh, killjoy. El Pachi, anything this time? Still nothing. Scanning real. So much zinc. And we see how they plan to head on to the battlefield. Where, yeah, Megatron. We see how the 
the Protocons and Maximals are still duking it out. And we see how Razor Beast manages to stop being in sync. And of course, during the battle, we see how their Leo Prime's cruiser shows up. And we'd be saying, they came! They who? And we see how Leo Prime and the other Maximal show up. Saying, Apache, Stampy, Long Wreck, Match Kick, Engage Beast Modes. Show them, it's a lot of the jungle out here. Huh? And of course, we see how Leo Prime and his other team give them a winning edge. And of course, we see how Ravage manages to kind of calm everyone down and saying that a danger has come to Cybertron and they need to sort it out. Just then, Shocker X also shows up and just as he's about to fire, aims for Razor Beast. And of course, we see them saying, What's happening to him? Nothing good. We've got to keep back. It's too late. And we see how he's now been consumed by the energy of it, and now becoming a shell of his former self. I would say, yeah, issue two isn't too bad. Like, yeah, it's using kind of the elements from Beast Wars Neo and Beast Wars 2 by mixing it together. And I kind of feel, yeah, it does kind of feel like this is like a season four that could have happened. I think, yeah, the series definitely, the issue definitely deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.